Hey guys, and today this is the first, um, my first Python tutorial that I'm doing, and I'm not going to be doing any Python tutorials that are simple. I'm going to be doing a little more advanced things, you know, not too advanced starting, but sooner, sooner or later, you know, it'll get more advanced. Today I'm just going to show you how to make, uh, how to make a program in Python where, um, you are gonna pretty much make a file it's, it's like you're making a file but without making it and this is what I want to show you okay I have a folder right here where I saved the, the dot by which is where you wanna you wanna do you wanna save everything in the same folder alright so I have it here and you see I have this write dot txt in here I'm just gonna delete that alright and it's deleted, there's nothing in there, right? And the program I have written, it shows you the out file equal open write dot txt, whatever like that. Okay, let me show you what it does. I'm just gonna press F5, which is on Mac is option F5. And then I'm gonna run the program. And okay, it doesn't do anything. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to write a f whatever I tell it to write in a file. That I spe specify, which I did it as write.txt. So if I open up the file, you'll see write.txt. And if I open up this, you will see it says this is a Python. This is Python programming. It says my name and my age. And that's pretty much what I specified right here. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna create a new one, and we're gonna do it. Okay. Okay, so I erased what I had, and now I just have the start of my function, which is def. Which it's always going to be def, and then main, or you can have whatever what well, whatever name you want it. But um, I always put main. I to I put the two um, parentheses and a colon. So when you go to the next one, it automatically indents for you. But if you're not using Python or it's idle. If you're not using the actual program, you're using something else, then you're going to want to indent if they don't indent for you. So, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have to open up our file. And the way we do this is we use uh, a thing called out file. Okay. And we're going to say out file equals open. So it's going to out file is going to open up and you put parentheses. And in that parentheses, you're going to put two separate quotations separated by a comma, like I have here. And what you're going to do now is in the first one, you're going to write the name of your document, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to write it as write.txt. Now, we'll try other ways of doing this, but this is the first way you're going to do it. And then in the second one, you're going to put a W for write. There's three separate ones. There's write, there's read, write, and append. We're gonna do write because we're gonna make this program write to a file. And now we go to the next line. You could tab again if you want just to separate it. And what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna write out file, which is what we named, right? Which is like our variable dot write. Okay. And then we're just going to put parentheses, no equals, all right, parentheses, and we're going to write whatever we want. Now, um, let's, we'll do it a couple different ways, but let's do it this way for now. I'm going to say, hello, this is a tutorial from www.moderngeek designs.com okay and you're gonna end the quote and then you're gonna end the parentheses okay now if you want to put anything else in there you have to use a plus sign all right and but we're not gonna do that yet I'll show you that later and okay we're gonna add one more line or well, two more lines we're gonna say again I'll file dot right and again the same thing and I'm just gonna put my name and I'm close it. And, and I click in our file. Dot right. And I'm going to put my age. And I'll put one more line. 
one more that says out file dot right and I'll say goodbye all right all right so we could run this and I'm gonna show you make sure actually I delete this one okay I'm gonna show you what this all well, after we do this sorry you gotta close out file so you're gonna go out file dot close right and the two quotation marks like kind of how we have main up here kind of the same way and all right now it's closed I mean now it's, the program's done you can save it save it to the folder that you made and um, you could run it I'm gonna show you that this is gonna look different and odd it's not gonna look right but I'm gonna show you how to fix that let me just show you right now if you did it like this what was that no uh, option f5 okay type in main or whatever you named your function and put the two parentheses click enter and it's not going to do nothing okay now we go to our file we open up write.txt and you see that it writes everything on a straight line I mean that's that that's how you want it then it's cool with me but um usually you're gonna want to um add a break uh well it's it's like a break or a new line so let me show you how to do that let me just once again move this one and I'll show you so after our first line we're gonna remember I saw you're gonna use that plus sign well here we're gonna use it right now okay so plus sign you could do I like to make it look cleaner so I do plus space between each one and I do quotes and in the quotes I put a sl uh, not a backslash but a forward slash and an end and you could put as many of those as you want it makes a new line so it separates the data from each each other why is it doing that I do not know let me just make this a little bigger maybe that's why okay and plus slash n and do it down here uh, plus sorry plus quotes slash n and down here and plus okay so if I save this and I go f5 again to run it and I go main it worked because there's no error message coming up let's open it up and now everything is in a line hello this is the tutorial from monarchydesigns.com my name my age subscribe if you like my videos and goodbye so that's a that's a way to do this program in this um, type of yeah that program where you write data to a file and next tutorial I'm going to show you how to take that stuff that we put in that file take it from the file and print it out in the python shell okay so I'll show you that next time but since we're all out of time now go visit my website www.monarchydesigns.com and check out my youtube subscribe if you like my videos and that's it and um, um See ya. Bye.